dear our brother and sister i am so happy i'm so glad that uh, we have uh, time together to discuss our sabbath school lesson today lesson is uh, come to lesson nine and i hope that we will have a good discussion on this uh, a good study together uh, before we start our lesson uh, shall we pray together heavenly father oh dear lord uh, i'm asking that you will be with us now so that we can study together help us to uh, to understand the and <coughs> the topic of end time deception is so important that we would aware of the deception so that we will not be lost and we will not be deceived be with us now because i pray in the name of jesus amen okay our brother and sister and uh like i said today we come to the lesson nine end time deception sabbath school lesson end time deceptions and this topic is so important because uh, we have to really be aware of the deception coming in different direction and uh, if not then we too will be deceived and uh, especially in the scripture saying that the deception is not just uh, de deceive uh, those those people that who does not believe in God but also will deceive the for the elect also if we claim that we are one of the elect and we too have to be careful about this topic and it's so good uh, let's see together deception uh, let's see together what we have here uh, we our our memory text uh, revelation 12 nine and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived the whole world he was cast out cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him so we know this story the story talking about cast out the uh, the angel that mean lucifer Lucifer used to be uh, <coughs> uh, uh, leading the leader of the angel in heaven, and he was with God. But now, because he uh, he committed sins, rebel rebellion, so he was cast out and kicked out from heaven, and with his angel. So now they are here on earth and he tried to deceive uh, especially especially end time. So let's uh let's see. Uh the the okay, let's see what we have. The the grandest deception. Okay, this is the end time deception. Okay, let's see. Uh it is all begin with the spirit of this content. This is the spirit that uh, start with Lucifer, with the uh, the the head angel. Uh, this content is uh, Mrs. White uh, in the great controversy has uh, the writing. Uh, is said here, leaving his place in the immediate present of God. So this is talking about Lucifer. Uh, Lucifer, uh, he was in the most holy place uh, as a guardian angel uh, in the mercy seat. So that is why they, uh, she mentioned that immediate present of God. So Lucifer went forth to diffuse uh, the spirit of discontent among the angels 
working with mystery, mysterious uh, secrecy, and for a time concealing dissatisfaction concerning the law that govern heavenly be, uh, being, intimidating uh, that they impose an unnecessary restraint. Uh, let's see some more. Okay, continue. Uh, okay, they imposed an unnecessary restraint. This is Ellen G. White in the Great Controversy, page 495. This is said, of course, you know, is at the beginning that uh, the spirit of this content, this content from Lucifer, and also accusing that the law, the law uh, in the government of God, he accusing that the law of God is uh, not fair and also is cannot be uh, cannot be done, uh, you know. So that's what uh, sin begin in Lucifer. Okay, let's see. Let's continue to see some more. And uh, and and many people, including Christians, don't believe in the existing of Satan and the controversy. So uh, this is. You know the majority of the people nowadays that uh, they, even the Christian, that's what is said here, they don't believe anymore in the existing of Satan. Let's say if if you don't think that Satan existed uh, at present time, so then what happened? What happened? They in their mind they thinking that those bad Thing happening, or the catastrophe, or the uh, the suffering, whatever happened, they just uh, refer to is as supernatural. Is coming from supernatural is uh, like, uh, and they believe that that is the so-called pre-scientific uh, culture or something before the scientific. Uh, era, so those tradition, those culture, uh, just they don't have knowledge about the existing of Saturn. So they just thinking is just super. It's just your the phenomena of the supernatural uh, happening, and it just like uh, like a a, a fiction. Uh, is not real, so uh, so Satan in 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 their mind is not not just only existing, but not literal, not real. So if you have that kind of mindset, then what happened? Then all the uh, and. Uh, and then, if you don't have Lucifer and you don't believe in the uh, controversy, so so then you will get lost. I mean, you don't uh, you don't have the 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 preparation to to cope with uh, the strategy of Lucifer of devil. So today, that's why deception, we want to point it out so that we would be uh, clearly admit that, you know, Lucifer, the, the devil, is real, is existing, is real. And uh, so, so, okay. Uh, now let me read, it said here that perhaps his greatest, which uh, Lucifer or Satan, his greatest deception is his ability to cause people to believe that he does not exist. After all, who's going to seek shelter from an over, overpowering enemy? 
who you don't believe is real is astonishing how many claim to be Christian and yet believe uh, and don't take the idea of a literal uh, devil seriously. They hold such a position, however, only by ignoring or rad- uh, radically uh, reinterpreting the many texts in the Word of God <coughs> that reveal Satan's working and ploys in this world, especially as we near the end of time, uh, that so many people would reject the literal existing of Satan in the face of such overwhelming biblical evidence. So we want to see the biblical evidence from some of the Bible texts. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. And uh, so let's see Second uh, Corinthians chapter 2, 11. Uh, it said here, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So Satan has so many devices. So just uh, be alert. So you know, for so that Satan will not take advantage from us. Let's continue to see. Uh, perhaps his Greatest deception is his ability to cause people to believe that he does not exist. So if Satan is not exist, so you don't even know how to uh, cope with, uh, with, with the evil thing. Okay, let's see some more scripture. Uh, the two great er- the two great error. So let's see the scripture uh, in, uh, in this topic, okay. The two great air, uh, okay, uh, what is it? The immortality of the soul and Sunday sacredness. Sacredness. Uh, so these two uh, mistake, these two error, and uh, the immortality. Immortality is uh, immortality of the soul. So they, many people, all believe that when they die. There's uh, the spirit that's uh, that you know is uh, is somewhere, and they be able to communicate with the spirit uh, when people die. So that is immortality of the soul. And uh, let's see, let's uh, let's see what they have. Okay, Second Corinthians chapter eleven thirteen. For such are false apostle deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. So this the uh, false Christ and false apostle. So Second Corinthians eleven fourteen is said, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Continue. Let's uh, see some more. The f- verse fifteen. Therefore. It is no great thing if his minister also be transformed as the minister of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. So uh, this is, we have some more scripture. Let's see. Uh, so Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9, say, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. Uh, and then verse 10 is that, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Okay, some more. Let's continue. In Revelation 12, 9, it said, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay, let's uh, 
Let's see some more. Revelation 12, 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come sal salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. So all of this scripture, let me see. We, yeah. All of this scripture that uh, talk, mentioning, talking about uh, Satan, the devil. So uh, if there's, if the devil uh, is not existed, then uh, we 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 shall not bother to talk about it. But uh, all the scripture mentioning that the devil uh, situation and. Uh, Therefore, we believe uh, that the devil is existed, and and now let's uh, let's move on. Let's move on. So let's talking about the immortality of soul. Immortality of soul is said here. In numerous cases, many of these people have told of incredible experiences of a conscious existence after they had uh, supposedly died. Some talk about how they floated in the air and saw from above their own bodies below. Others reported floating out of their bodies and meeting a wonderful being filled with light and warmth and who espoused espoused truth about kindness and love. Other recommend meeting and talking to that relative. So, so these are the deception from Satan. And now, so these people believe, uh, and so that they said even their dead relatives gave them com comforting words about love, peace, and goodness, but nothing about salvation in Christ. Nothing about sin and nothing about judgment to come. So this is the 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 big the greatest deception that uh, immortality that immortality soul. So uh, if we believe that uh, the immortality of soul, then what happened? We uh, we we our belief is against the the whatever scripture uh, telling us so let's see we have so many scripture that telling us about uh, what happened when people die ecclesiastic uh, 9 chapter 9 verse 4 for the living know that they shall die but they dead but the dead know not anything neither have they any more a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. See, all the dead people, so they don't have any memory, they don't have any, uh, you know, they don't know anything. And then verse 6, it said also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished, neither have they any more a portion for every in anything that is done under the sun. So this is the description of the people who die. Uh, this is the teaching of the scripture. We have some more scripture uh, talking about the dead people. Let's continue. Uh, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 9 verse 10. Whosoever uh, thy hand find to do. Do it with thy mind, for there is no work, no device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. So this is exactly what I am doing now. I am trying to, uh, because I am thinking that if I die, so just like over here, it said do it, before you die, right? For there is no work anymore uh, when you die. 
uh, no knowledge, no nothing. So we all uh, better do whatever we can while we're living. So that's what is said. So the dead people know nothing. They don't do anything. So uh, see that proof that is uh, just totally uh, against the, the the belief that people hold, hold nowadays. Okay, let's do some more. Let's take a look some more. Uh, the scripture of Psalm one fifteen seventeen, the dead praise not the Lord. So the dead, when they die, they cannot praise the Lord. How can they communicate with uh, relatives or loved ones? Neither any that go down into silence. So, uh, and then 146, Psalm 146, chapter, uh, I mean, verse 4, His breath go forth, He return to His earth. In that very day, He thought, perish so okay so this all the scripture how can it be that uh, that the the immortal immortality of the soul or the spirit uh, you know and we okay let's look some more we still have some more first Corinthians 15 16 for if the dead uh, rise not then is not Christ Rest. So, okay, now we're talking about the dead. The dead only will rise up when Jesus coming. Okay, and we believe that. We believe that the dead is sleeping until up to the point that Jesus is coming. And, uh, <clears throat> and before that, the dead is sleeping in the ground. So uh, that's what... Okay, that's the teaching. Okay, let's uh, let's move back. Let's move back to what we what we were. Okay, now the uh, verse seventeen is that, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. So now, now we're talking about the resurrection of Jesus. Now we believe that only Jesus resurrected. Okay. He the first, the first one to be resurrected. Ye are yet in your sins. Uh, so if Jesus is not resurrected, so our faith is in vain, and we still in sinful situation. And uh, verse eighteen is that then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. So the People uh, die before us, and they uh, fallen asleep in the grave. So, uh, so if when Jesus coming, if these people are not resurrected, then uh, they will be perished altogether, totally. But our scripture is teaching that when Jesus come, the righteous will be will be rise up, and uh, will be resurrected. In Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame. That means uh, for the sinner, sinner, everlasting contempt. So uh, at the resurrection, so we, we have only the righteous that be resurrected. And... Uh, the sinner, so they will be uh, forever, everlasting, you know, everlasting contempt. Okay, so that is the teaching of the Bible. So, uh, so it's so obvious if we believe in the immortality of the soul. So we are not, uh, are not uh, according to the teaching of the Bible, and uh, we have. Uh, of co uh, obviously that the teaching is from the false prophets. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on uh, Sabbath and the theory of evolution. And it's so, Satan is so cunning that uh, he, he has so many devices 
that uh, especially in this end time. So he try in different way try to uh, convince people, try to take people away from the gospel. So now uh, let's talk about Sabbath. So now Sabbath uh, is we know. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. We have uh, we have from Genesis, the book of Genesis, from chapter one, verse one to chapter two, verse three. Uh, here we we familiar with the book of Genesis. You know, from chapter one, uh, it it talking about the creation and uh, talking about the creation and and God uh, in chapter Genesis chap- chapter 1 told us that God created this whole world in six days. And every day, each day, God doing something, create something. You know, uh, God has a plan and a procedure to 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 put something first to put something next you know so all is the plan of god and uh and the this plan of god is uh this plan of god is planned it out uh so that we can see so clear there there's a plan uh, of God and God created in six day which is uh, contrast to the theory of evolution evolution is just totally take different direction evolution mentioning that the uh, the thing happening with the single cell and then it developing, developing, and uh, to be, you know, to be an animal, to be a human being or whatever, it just keep developing. And uh, so it's just totally con- contrary to the teaching of, uh, of the, uh, the Bible. And uh, so, you know, theory of evolution, and the creation it uh it's just different okay but now satan has a way try to make them up try because that way it's just like you know we uh just like the the constantine the emperor uh at that at that time try to mix the sunday worshiper and the sabbath worshiper try to a kind you know uh, a kind of mix together and and uh, so the sabbath is the sabbath uh, creating of the seventh day and uh, it show that god is the creator and god has a plan to do everything but the evolu- evolution theory is just just uh, totally different how can how can the two mix together and uh, so they mix together they they change the Sabbath to Sunday and they uh, promoting Sunday and as the day of worship so uh, it's just not biblical uh, so these are deception if we uh, if we believe in the Bible, so we have to take everything from the Bible. Is no way that we can change from Saturday to Sunday. Let's let's see the, some of the scripture. Let's see some more. Uh, okay, now let's go back. One is said first. Everything was planned and calculated. Nothing was random arbitrarily or by chance so no way so because uh, so clear that uh, s- step by step when God created this world okay okay let's see the second point second point the text reveal un- 
ambiguously that each creature was made after its own kind. That is, each one was made separately and distinct, distinctly from the other. So, so you see, our uh, our belief in creation. We believe that God create uh, every kind of the creature uh, after its own kind. So it is not mixed together, okay, and uh, and separately and distinctively. And let's say even even our fingerprint, even our fingerprints, we are different. Uh, it's not that uh, our fingerprint developed from one to the other, and we have separately and distinctively uh, different from one another. Animal and human being are separately, so uh, it's not coming from one single cell and developed to different, you know, uh, different kind. Uh, and so this is the the two teaching, the two theory. So we have to be careful, and <clears throat> especially the end time. Okay, okay. Let's see some more. Let's see now. Counterfeit Trinity. Satan also using the counterfeit Trinity. We know that Trinity is we have God the Father. God the Holy Spirit and God the Son. So Satan, what Satan has is the dragon. Dragon has all the authority and then give the authority to the beast. So Satan create the counterfeit trinity. So he has the dragon and the beast uh, from the sea and the beast from the land. So these are the counterfeit trinity, uh, trinity, and it's all coming from the dragon. Uh, okay, so let's see over here. Is that as much success as Satan has had uh, deceiving the world in regard to the immortality of the soul, he has been just as successful, if not more so, in usurping the biblical Sabbath for Sunday. Okay. In recent years, the devil has come up with another deception that lessened the whole of the seven-day Sabbath in the mind of people, the theory of evolution. And even uh, here is that, uh, okay, why then so many people interpreted Genesis through the lens of a theory that at its most basic level contradict Genesis at its most basic level. Indeed, not only has the air of evolution swept up a million of secular people, but many professors Christian believe that they can harmonize it with their Christian faith, despite the Brenton contradiction just mentioned. Uh, now, uh, so so our our teaching is that God created the whole world is six days, but uh, but uh, the evolution uh, theory talking about. Uh, the creation, the developing the creation is million years, uh, uh, three or four mil uh, billion years. Creation into so this is the totally the deception of Satan, and uh, it said beside receiving its authority from the dragon, uh, mentioning about the beast from the sea and the beast from the land. It said that uh, rem uh, reminiscent of what Jesus said about receiving his authority from the Father. So they counterfeit that uh, is Jesus 
talking about that he received the power from the uh, authority from the father. Now over here is that the authority from the dragon. So the 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 sea beast also uh, get the power and authority from the dragon. So so all kind of counterfeit. Uh, especially at the end time. So try to uh, deceive uh, everyone. So that is uh, Satan try to do. And uh, we, we, we learn from the scripture uh, many, many things that so many people, uh, they don't believe. And so, <coughs> so I urge everyone to study hard the, our scripture, our Bible, so that we will hold fast to what we believe and we will be able to see clearly about the deception of Jesus. So I hope and I pray that you all will learn and will remember about this, uh, about the thing, the deception that we talk about in this chapter. Uh, so we We'll see you again next time.